Okay, the snake is not safe until it's in a container. That venom there is enough to kill probably all of us in this room. There's about eight of us in here. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to say, but don't panic, <laughs> okay? Yeah. I know people want to scream, even try and kill the snake, but that's the worst thing you can do. If you try and kill the snake, in turn, it may turn around and try and kill you. You're hurting it. Therefore, the natural reaction, the natural defensive reaction is to hurt you back. So don't interfere with the snake. So if you see a snake, if you can calmly leave the room, close the doors, close the windows, block any holes, holes under the door, any gaps, and then call a snake catcher like us. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the time um, when people get confronted by snakes or they see a snake, most of the time they're actually harmless anyway. There's only 16 in this country that are actually classified as dangerous to humans. Uh, there's 173 or so different types of snake in South Africa. So you see the difference, there's only 16 that are actually dangerous. But I think it's been drummed in from an early age where people always fear snakes, they don't understand them, they don't want to know about them, but they are here for a reason. If there were no snakes, we'd have more disease because they eat the mice and the rats. So we try and educate as we go along. But like Susie said, if the snake has entered your home, just if it's gone into a bedroom, close the doors, run outside, close the windows and phone us or phone another catcher then we can help you from there. Complicated if you're bitten by a snake. First of all, it may not be venomous, so you won't need anti-venom. If you're administered anti-venom, it can do more harm than good if you haven't been bitten by a venomous snake. You're basically injecting venom into you. So you must, if you are bitten by a snake, um, again, don't panic. Panic can make your heart beat faster, and if you are bitten by a venomous snake, make the venom pump into your body a lot quicker. Now, the theory that you should kill the snake to take to the hospital is not relevant at all. Please do not kill the snake. In doing so, you may end up with a second bite, which mm. is really not good. You've got double envenomation, so that's not a good thing. But what you must do, or what, or what doctors can do, if you are bitten by a snake, they can usually work out, looking at the bite site itself, what type of snake you've been bitten by, or what type of venom. So here we have mainly three types of venom, which is a neurotoxic venom. That's normally the black mamba, the green mamba, and the forest cobra. You have a cytotoxic bite, which is the uh, spitting cobra and the forest cobra, yeah, or you have, or puff adder. And then you have the hematoxic bites, which are the boom, uh, sorry, the boom slung, yeah, sorry, boom slung boom slung. and the vine snake. The problem with the uh, hematoxic bites is they're slow acting. So you may be bitten, you have no symptoms, um, and you won't go to hospital or you don't think you need to go to. However, 24 hours later, I like this sentence, you wake up dead, <laughs> okay? Mm. Basically, you won't survive yeah. and it's 24 hours later. So any snake bite, you, are, you don't know the snake, do get hospital treatment. However, people do panic, so if they're bitten by a non-venomous snake, We've had people with every symptom under the sun. They are dying. It's like a placebo <laughs> it's effect. It's the placebo yeah. effect. They yeah. are dying. They're like, this is it, guys. You know, my last rites. I'm headaches. out. Yeah. Um, headaches. Everything that's going on. And we look at the snake if they've identified it or we've seen a picture. And we say, guys, this is harmless. You should have no symptoms. So it is important to try to identify. We understand in the commotion, in the panic, you can't. Um, but normally, please don't kill a snake if you have been bitten. There are ways we can determine what type of snake you've been bitten by and how we need to medically treat that person. Yeah.